Hello, we are back with one more lecture session on multivariate calculus integration. In the last lecture session, we have seen how to evaluate triple integrals over a general region U. Let us take a quick recap of that. We have actually seen that the general region U may be classified as type 1 or type 2 or type 3 region depending on the projection of the region lies on the xy, yz or zx plane. So here is the type 1 region where the projection actually lies on the xy plane and the region is assumed to be such that it is bounded below by a surface z1xy and above by a surface z2xy. So this is how the region is represented that as a set of points xyz where xy belongs to D and z lies between z1xy to z2xy. Now the triple integral in this case may be either evaluated with this formula or by another one as given over here. So in both cases we see that first the integral has to be evaluated with respect to z from the lower surface z1xy to the upper surface z2xy. Now next we may first integrate with respect to y and then with x or first with x and then with y depending on the region D is a type 1 region or a type 2 region. Similar formula we have seen exists also for the regions of type 2 or 3. And one more important thing we should remember that if the function xyz is equal to 1, then the triple integral f of xyz dx dy dz over the region u reduces to the special triple integral dx dy dz over u, which represents nothing but the volume of the region of integration u. This is simply because dx dy dz, this product, represents an elementary volume and as we sum up these elementary volumes over the entire region U, this gives nothing but the volume of the region U. Now, with this knowledge, let us move on to see some problems on how to evaluate triple integrals over such general region. So the first problem here is evaluate the triple integral 1 minus x dx dy dz over U where the region u lies in the first octant below the plane 3x plus 2y plus z equal to 6. So of course we first need to draw the figure and as we go to draw the figure we see that this plane 3x plus 2y plus z equal to 6 can be rewritten in the form x by 2 plus y by 3 plus z by 6 equal to 1 which easily tells us that this is this plane and it cuts the x-axis at this point 200, the y-axis at the point 030 and the z-axis at the point 006. And now, so let us try to evaluate this integral. So first, of course, we need to find out the limits of x, y, z so that the region u will be covered. So if we treat this as a type 1 region, we will first try to find the limits of z. So we see that if we take a vertical strip like this now, the lower surface is the xy plane. So that is nothing but z equal to 0. And the upper surface will be the surface of this plane. So that will be actually then given by z equal to 6 minus 3x minus 2y. Okay. And we see that the projection of this region, of course, lies on the xy plane, which is this triangle. So let us see the projection more clearly in the next slide. So this will be the projection region D given by this triangle, where this will be the straight line 3x plus 2y equal to 6. So therefore, as we will be looking for the limits of x and y for this projection region D, we see that y will vary from this lower curve y equal to 0 to this upper curve 3 minus 3 by 2x and x varies from 0 to 2. 
So let us now use this limits and try to evaluate the triple integral. So the given triple integral 1 minus ax dx dy dz over u may be now written like this. First, we will integrate the function 1 minus x with respect to z from the lower limit 0 to the upper limit 6 minus 3x minus 2y. And y, as just now discussed, will vary from y equal to 0 to 3 minus 3 by 2x and x will vary from 0 to 2. So this can be now easily evaluated. Let us see. So as we do this integration, of course, x is a constant. So this just gives us z minus zx and these are the limits. So as we put the limits, we will get this as now the integrand. So let us do a little bit of simplification on this and the integrand finally becomes 6 minus 9x minus 2y plus 3x square plus 2xy dy. We will integrate this now with respect to y and put the limits as y varies from 0 to 3 minus 3 by 2x. So if we do so, finally the integrand for the last integral will be like this. 9 minus 18x plus 45 by 4x square minus 9 by 4x cube. And this is now integrated with respect to x from 0 to 2. So as we do that, we get here 9x minus 18x square by 2 plus 45 by 12x cube minus 9 by 16x4. We will put the limits and finally the answer will come as 3. So let us move on to another problem. Evaluate the triple integral dx dy dz over the region u, where u is a region that lies in the first octant and is bounded by the cylinder x square plus z square equal to 4 and the plane y equal to 3. Now, before we proceed, note one thing that this triple integral dx dy dz, we have seen initially that this gives nothing but the volume of the region u. So as we will evaluate this integral, our answer will actually give the volume of this region u as mentioned here. Okay, so as we start, let's draw the region first. So it will be something like this. We are in the first octant and bounded by this cylinder over here, the portion of the cylinder in the first octant whose equation is x square plus z square equal to 4. So basically on the exit plane, it's the portion of the circle with radius 2. And it is bounded on the other side by this plane y equal to 3. So this is the region of integration u. And observe that the projection of this region can be considered on the xy plane to be this rectangle where x is varying from 0 to 2 and y is varying from 0 to 3. So this is here once more, the projection region dxy. So with this knowledge, we can now try to evaluate this integral because we can put the limits now easily. So see that the triple integral dx dy dz over u may be written like this. So we will now first integrate with respect to z where z will vary from the lower curve, that is the xy plane, or rather z equal to 0. And what is the upper curve? The upper curve, of course, is the surface of the cylinder. So from here, we get z as root over 4 minus x square. Now, once this is done, we will integrate with respect to y, where we see that y varies from 0 to 3, and with respect to x next, where x varies from 0 to 2. So this is quite easy now. So as we integrate with respect to z, we just get z. And as we put the limits, so we get root over 4 minus x square dx. x is varying from 0 to 2. And see that this integral 0 to 3 dy, this already gives us just 3. So now we are left with to evaluate this integral. So either you can make a substitution like x equal to 2 sin t or you can use the formula. We have actually used the formula for root over a square minus x square dx over here, which gives us 3 multiplied with x root over 4 minus x square by 2 
plus 2 sin inverse x by 2 limits are from 0 to 2. As you put the limits, we will see that the answer is going to be 3 pi. So, let's look into one more example. Find the volume of the cone of height h and base radius r as shown in the figure. So, the figure is like this, which is already given to us. So, we have a cone of height h and radius r. And we need to find the volume of this cone. So, we already know that the volume is given by the triple integral dx dy dz. So, our task is now to find the limits of x, y, z such that this region is covered. Now, see that the region is such that its projection is on the x, y plane, which is nothing but a circle of radius r. So, therefore, we can treat this region as a type 1 region and let us try to find the limits of z. So, as we take a vertical strip, we see that the lower surface is nothing but the surface of the cone, which is having the equation z equal to h by r root over x squared plus y squared. And the upper surface is the plane z equal to h. So, as we put the limits, we see that we will integrate with respect to z first with the limits going from the lower surface h by r root over x squared plus y squared to the upper surface h. And as we look into the limits of x and y, we see that this is nothing but a circle on the xy plane whose equation is of course x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. So therefore, the limits of y will be from minus root over r square minus x square to plus root over r square minus x square. And x, of course, will vary from minus r to plus r. So as we proceed to integrate, integral dz is nothing but z. And we put the limits and we get h minus h by r root over x square plus y square as the integrand now. Next, we should proceed to integrate with respect to y and x. But observe that because our region of integration now is nothing but a circle, it will be advantageous if we actually transform from Cartesian to polar coordinates. So let's do that. So we will use the polar coordinates now, x equal to r cos theta, y equal to r sine theta. So then our integral for calculating the volume will be transformed like this. So the integrand now becomes h minus h by capital R multiplied with small r. As obviously root over x square plus y square will be small r. And I hope all of you remember that the differential dx dy is transformed into Cartesian coordinates as r dr d theta. So that is what we have here r dr and d theta. And what are the limits of r and theta? Now, because our region of integration now is a circle of radius capital R, so it's very obvious that small r will vary from 0 to capital R and theta will vary from 0 to 2 pi. So now we perform the integration. It gives us h r square by 2 minus h by capital R r cube by 3. We will put the limits from 0 to capital R. And as you simplify, the answer is going to be pi r square h by 3, which is the very well-known result for the volume of a cone. With this, we are over with triple integrals. In the next lecture session, we will start vector integration. Thank you.